this is going to hopefully one of those chores we're going to have for a while. You just can't make it up. I guess it's a doggy door too. <laughs> Guys, this is what we had right here was just a manual door that we had on a cable that we could pull down here and hook it and it'd be open during the daytime hours and then at night we had to come out here every night and we would put the door down um, and that was what we were doing hey morning and night didn't matter if it was raining we had to come out here and do this we have uh, reached out to a chicken guard and they make an automated door so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take this door off and we're going to put on an automated door that will open in the morning and close at night for us. Come out to their chicken feed, and they are all so upset about us being out here right now and making all kinds of noise, y'all. Buddy. Yeah, Buddy's not helping the situation. Go on with yourself. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Now guys, we did not know this when we started this, that what size this door was going to be, but the chicken guard door covers the opening that I had already cut out here. So it's basically going to replace my block of wood. I'm not going to have to modify the door or nothing. So we're really fortunate right there. And when we first started this, that we didn't cut the door out too big. So it comes with all your hardware, it comes with a set of batteries. Um, I do know one of the things it talks about in the directions here, it talks about using some lithium batteries for the, you know, just how long they'll last for. Um, it also comes with a remote station here where you can hook this cable up and to be able to set all this up, you pull this panel out, put it in here, and then you can program it up here on the wall if you need to make changes and stuff. I'm not going to do that. I don't want the cable hanging down um, right now. I may change my mind at a later date. So we're just going to hold on to this and the cable right now. But we are going to go ahead and set this up. So guys, what I am going to show you here is just how really simple this is. But basically we have batteries and four screws to install this to the wall. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull this block out and this is where our batteries go right here and just install our batteries. Okay, the battery's installed. And as you can see, the lights come on right here and chicken guards up. So now we've got to set our open and close times for this. And our arrows 
are going to be our where we're going to go through our screen at right here. This is the setup wizard. Opening settings. Okay. Right now it's showing seven o'clock in the morning. So for opening, seven o'clock is going to work for us. Um, that's not too early. The sun's coming up probably about 7.15 here right now. So the opening settings have been saved. Now the close settings. Okay, that's showing 6.45. We're going to change that. And as you can tell, that's showing 18.45. This is basically set up at military time right now. So I'm going to adjust this to 8 o'clock tonight. Deb, they've been up by 8 o'clock, haven't they? Because I think they've been up by 8, you think? Yeah. 8 o'clock? Yeah. We're going to give them an extra five minutes, y'all. Okay. Now our close settings have been saved. I'm just kind of going through the wizard here. Um, I set the open and close time, but I need to check on the time itself. See what where we are. Okay, what time we got there, Miss Keelan? It's seven eleven. Seven eleven. So seven eleven. That's going to be nineteen eleven. So we've set the time on this to where it's going to open on a certain time. It does have a light sensor on it for dawn to dusk openings. Um, we've noticed with the moon being out full, and our wall is on the east side here of the chicken house. So this is going to be darker than, um, or get darker sooner. But I've noticed with the full moon, the chickens seem to stay out later. So right now, for our sake, we're just going to open and close it on a time. Just to understand that it does have a dawn to dusk feature on it and all if you wanted to use that so here what's happening is the door is opening for us right now in just a few minutes I'll screw it actually screw it to the wall what this is doing is um, the closing torque If something were in the way of it, it would automatically open back up if it sensed something was in the door. So it wouldn't uh, pinch your chicken or something there. So guys, there it is. One of the things you'd want to be aware of, if you were getting your chicken guard door before um, you cut your hole, just be sure and measure your opening. Um, for us, and I'll just be honest with y'all, we just flat lucked out, fortunate here, that the hole that I had cut, um, that this actually fit. And that was just sheer luck right there. I didn't. That was not planned. Um, because the chicken guard door was an afterthought when we saw that, you know, it was just a, hey, it has become a chore closing and opening and closing the chickens every day. So trying to eliminate some of, quote, our chores, you know, somebody once told me uh, chores is something to have to get done every day. So this is going to hopefully one of those chores we won't have for a while. The chicken guard door comes with a three-year warranty. It is weather resistant. We do have it in the chicken run itself, so that's going to protect our chicken guard door, but it does not have to be mounted to where, because it is weather resistant. It has a real high operating, and I say high, high and low operating range. It 
operates like at negative four up to I think 140 degrees, which hey, here in North Texas is going to be very beneficial for us and all. So guys, we've installed our door here. Um, the door is closed right now. We want the chickens to be able to go up tonight, so we've got to get the door open here. So you just press that up button to make it open? Yeah, all I did was press the up button, and once I released it, the door started opening for us. So now the door is open, and hopefully tonight the chickens, they've been used to going in and out of this door. They haven't been used to the box being here, but I don't think that'll be a deterrent for them. I think they'll go right in, and I'll check on that tonight before I go to bed tonight. I'll make sure all the chickens got up tonight. Well, guys, once again, I want to uh, thank y'all for watching. We want to thank Chicken Guard for sponsoring this video for us. Um, just remember, hey, you just can't make it up. I guess it's a doggy door, too. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, I couldn't plan that any better. But, guys, um, just remember, this is the Chicken Guard all-in-one door. Um, guys, we appreciate y'all watching today. I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.